good morning i know it's been a while um i have got a load of old footage on my um laptop that i'm going to try and maybe do something with i don't know i've just lost my youtube mojo for a bit i think i've mentioned it before or i will do <laughs> in the footage that's on the laptop um things just haven't i just uh, i haven't felt it you know i i've i've had problems with finding places to go so i've just kind of given up on it you know it's just i don't know i can't explain it you know um anyway today i'm really not feeling too good today because we was meant to be going up to um iron bridge and um the shropshire area today for a camp overnight but um i don't want to say too much but due to someone they put the kibosh and all that and we couldn't go so I can't tell you how much that has, that has, that has bothered me I mean that's really really upset me that as I was looking forward to going up there uh, not just for the camp but just going up for a few memories of my mum you know it's yeah it's one of them things that I was really really looking forward to and I well not just looking forward to but I needed to do you know I needed to I don't know not say goodbye to my mum as such, but just just to go up there just for, just for a little while and go to her local church and uh, yeah, just think about her for a bit. You know that that was that was the plan. But like I say, that's <coughs> had the kibosh put on it. And um, last night I just did, I didn't know what to do. I I sat there and I was uh, I watched the film and. Uh, had a drink and I, I was just so I was just so fucking depressed, so pissed off. I ended up having a having an early night and uh, trying to get my head back into gear. Anyway, that's it. I'm not I'm not going to be depressed anymore. Not in this video anyway. <laughs> so I've hit the road. I have no idea where I'm going to go. I I got half a tank of fuel. I'm just going to go and look. I'm going to wing it. Gonna charge up north on the on the A1 for a bit, just just see what happens really. Now there is one positive to report this week, and that was a few days ago. Um, was it Tuesday? Last Tuesday, I managed to get into the um, St Nick's Church in Stevenage. You know the one that's given me all them problems before. I managed to get in there because I was dropping the um, polling equipment off to the church and one of my colleagues Claire bless her gave me a tour of the church and I'll tell you what it's fucking stunning in there probably one of the most amazing active churches that I've ever been in it's all recently been renovated there's underfloor heating it it looks absolutely magnificent and it is steeped in history as well now I did take a couple of pictures and a little bit of video footage which I shall um, put up now.
And that was um, St Nicholas Church in a place called Cox, Coxmoor. And um, it, look, it seems there's quite a bit of history behind this. I'm not going to read them now, but there's there's two booklets here and, and a and a postcard that I managed to uh, get hold of. Uh, so I'll have a good read of that one. But that was that was beautiful. That one. I think um, this is a place um, in that church. There's a there's an area in there that is um, dedicated for the um, RAF of Cotsmoor, and uh, I think that there's a entire list of names that everyone of everyone that lost their lives during the Second World War that was you know part of uh, RAF Cotsmoor. But um, this is about a mile away from where I just was, and that church, as you just see, wide open. And it, you know, you can tell that it's um, been well maintained and, and looked after. But you was allowed in there and you can go and sit. And that was so nice, so rewarding. You know, not just going in there to do the filming with the camera, but for me, to go in there, to just to sit down, take a breath, just to... Because it's silence in there, apart from the rain dripping on the roof, you know, it is, it is silent in there. And you're just left alone with your own thoughts. And I absolutely adore that. You know... I know some people probably couldn't think of anything worse, but for me, even though I'm not, I'm not a believer. Just being in there, just being in there, just, just sat down, just, you know, I don't know. I can't explain it unless you try it. You know, <laughs> maybe then you'll understand. Um, but yeah, well worth a visit. Now I've just been on the um, church's conservation trust website, and it turns out there's a um, a redundant church about two and a half miles away from where I am. So I'm gonna go and have a look at that. Fingers crossed, this one will be open. It says on the website, it's open every single day. So let's go find out. Well, as you can see, I found it, and I'm bloody glad I did. This one is absolutely stunning as well. The Holy Cross Church, Burley on the Hill, um, in Rutland, private estate, but well worth the walk up the driveway to get here. I didn't think I was gonna get in, to be honest with you, but this is absolutely gorgeous. How this is not in use anymore is beyond me. It was just, wow, mesmerizing this one. I could spend a good bit of time in this one, just walking around. Definitely sign of bats. There's droppings on the floor. To be expected in a building like this. I've made, I've made a donation. I mean, ugh, this place needs to be kept alive for people to come and visit over the years, you know what I mean? Don't just let it go to rack and ruin, not this one. Absolutely stunning. I'll leave a link in the description for this one so you can come and have a look yourself but uh, I'm going to take a few minutes now and just enjoy it.
Right, so that Holy Cross uh, church picked up a picked up another handout. Burley on the Hill in Rutland, right? Now, I've been to I've been to many churches now, more than more than I can more than I can remember, right? And I'm I'm not one of these people that um seriously believes in ghosts and and all that sort of stuff, but I was it I was in that in that church and talk about I'm quite happily walking around taking pictures doing some videos doing some uh videos like for for youtube shorts and tiktok and things but um all of a sudden for no reason i just have this overwhelming feeling of unease there was no there was no noise no creaking no nothing no it was all all normal you know there was no nothing it was just as it was when i walked in i was you know it was silent and, and nice and enjoyable but as i as i got to um on, where i was walking by the organ with all the pipes and there's a bit beautiful pipes all pictured up they they look amazing as I, as i stood there i just had this overwhelming sense of unease and i can't i i don't know i i that's all i can say it felt like it was Almost, I don't know, unease, nervousness. You know, I didn't feel cold. I didn't get goosebumps. I just felt all of a sudden nerves, and that was fucking weird. And I thought, right, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to let it beat me. So I deliberately stayed in there a little bit longer and sat, sat on one of the pews and just waited it out. But that sense was, was still with me. And it was really bizarre. I can't put. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's my own mind playing tricks on me. I ain't got a clue. I, do, I really don't know. But like I say, that's the first time that's ever happened in a church because all the other ones I've been to, I've never really had a never had a problem. Even the even the church at um, Datsworth, you know, that's meant to be the the most haunted church in Hertfordshire, didn't have a problem there. Or Cold Christmas, you know, that one's meant to be haunted. Never had a problem there neither. But but that one, don't know. Very strange, but like I say, could just be my own mind playing tricks on me. Anyway, I'm going to move off and uh, see what else I can find. Now, a bit of a change of location. I'm at Rutland Water now. Um, I'm heading towards the old Normanton Church. I have been here before on a cycling ride, but wasn't really into churches back then I'm hoping to get up close and personal but there looks like there's just been a very glamorous wedding there I've just seen a bride that is uh, pretty much one of them fairy tale ones do you know what I mean but I think people are moving on now so um, I'm going to go and have a nosy see if I can get close
don't know if you can hear me because the wind coming across this uh, Rutland water reservoir is uh, quite aggressive. <laughs> but I tell you what, if you give it, give it an opportunity to come down here, go and have a, have a look in that waterside calf. I just had a bacon sandwich and a cup of coffee. Okay, it was £10.99, but the bacon sandwich was the best bacon sandwich I've ever had in my life. Real thick chunks of bacon, fresh bread, and uh, this little side salad with like crisp things over the top. It was absolutely stunning. Come and give it a go. What a wicked place this is, honestly. been spoiled today that's two open ones this is St Mary the Virgin in Edith Weston which is right on the um, on the boundary of Rutland Water by, by Normanton I see the, the tower on this church and decided to have a walk up to see whether I could find it and uh, oh, I'm so glad I did this is a very historic building I don't know the history behind it of course I mean I'll just come and find them when I see them but uh, there is something in there, in the in the lobby area, warning about the floor being uneven because it, it's historic. So I'll have to have a look into that one. But it is a it's a beautiful place. See, and in this church, I feel normal as anything. No no problems at all. It's quite an inviting place. It's uh, very comfortable. 
think I'll uh, take some more pictures and then sit down for a few minutes and uh, enjoy it before before walking back to the car. Rutland water, if you want a day out, that's the place to go. Nice place for a walk, something to eat, picnics, all that sort of stuff. Stuff for the kids to do, loads of activities and water sport things and you name it, it's there. Anyway, I'm moving on now. Uh, there's one more, but well, one more, there's a couple of churches that are around this area that I've just found on the um, Conservation Trust website. So I'm picking the nearest one I'm going to go and have a look at that one and then track back towards Stevenage and call it a day. So it'll be rude not to. Apparently, it's open till four o'clock this one and it is just gone quarter past two now. So we should be all right for a quick walk around and uh, see what it's all about. I forget the name of it, I don't know. I just quickly put the postcode in the sat nav and headed off. Sorry, a little bit distracted and there's a couple of people walking smack bang in the middle of the road, you know, as you do. <laughs> anyway, let's go find this church. I drove straight past it as I come into the village and I'm astonished by this one this is absolutely gorgeous you know proper old proper it's really got that feel of an old an old building you know where you can you can still sense the um, community atmosphere the pictures on the wall it looks like it's it's still used it still looks after it looks very well maintained but has that real historic feel to it, you know? Absolutely stunning in here, and its location is perfect, you know? In the middle of nowhere, you know? Absolutely gorgeous, I absolutely love this one. Yeah, I'm chuffed to bits that I found this one. I really <laughs> was beginning to wonder whether it was actually here, you know, but, oh well, I wish I had my drone with me today. But yeah, I'm gonna get some more pictures out from the outside and uh, perhaps spend a few more minutes here again. But this is um, definitely a good church to, to finish on today. Chuff the bits. <laughs> <laughs> 